Hello, my friends, and welcome to our final reading lesson of the week. We know that we've been thinking all about biography, and of course, biographies are stories told about people's lives by someone different. Today, we are going to be thinking about something very similar to biography, but it's actually called autobiography. So we are going to dive on in and think about what autobiography means. So an autobiography is a story of a person's life told by that person. So for example, if we were reading a story about um, Frida Carlo, this is from yesterday, a book about Frida Carlo, instead of it being written by someone else, it would be written by Frida. I could write a story, an autobiography, a story about my life, and instead of it being told by someone else, it's told by me, okay? And we've looked at some autobiographies this year. One of them, of course, is Kamala Harris's Superheroes Are Everywhere. And I'm just going to read this page and see if we notice any trends about what autobiographies share. My sister Maya and I did everything together. Ballet class, piano lessons, bike riding, and board games. I knew that if I ever needed her, she'd be there one half of our dynamic duo. When we felt sad, my mom would throw us an unbirthday party so we'd feel better. Together, we'd eat an unbirthday cake, open unbirthday presents, and dance around the living room. Maya was always by my side. My sister was a superhero because she was someone I could count on. Who can you count on? So in this story, it's telling about Vice President Kamala Harris's life right? It's talking about her and her sister Maya when they were little. Instead of it saying Kamala and Maya, we see that there's that word I, right? That I tells us that it is Kamala who's speaking, Kamala who is writing. We can also see that not only is she telling about life events, right? Like the unbirthday party, but she's telling about her feelings about that, right? So not only is it talking about life events, but it's talking about feelings, which is something that is unique to autobiography because obviously when someone else is writing a story about a life and it's not their own life, they can tell about the events, but they can't tell how the person's feeling. But when an autobiography is written, you get both those events and how characters feel about those different events. Some other things that you might see are things they like to do, different pieces of personal information, things about their family, where they live, um, what they like to do, read and write, um, what their favorite food or music might be. Um, and so when we think about autobiography, whoop, when we think about autobiography, we are understanding that is very similar to biography. It's still a story about someone's life, but instead of it being written by someone else, the story is written by themselves about their own life. And in autobiography, it is special because not only are we seeing life events, but we are seeing thoughts and feelings about those life events, because obviously these events happen to them. So we are getting what's coming from their brain and their heart onto the page. So we're going to do a little activity where you're actually going to get um, to write a little autobiography today. And we are going to come back next week for a whole new set of reading lessons. All right, my scholars, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.